Today we're going to show you a little bit about how to build a floating fish attractor. In fact, we're going to build a living floating fish attractor, one that has plants associated with it. This is uh, built out of uh, a, a variety of materials. The main piece is a wooden uh, shipping pallet. See, like this one right here. And uh, you can get these often as kind of surplus behind a lot of department stores, other places where they ship a lot of materials. Of course, ask first before you take one. Uh, sometimes they recycle these. So you want to make sure that it's okay to remove them. But often they're perfectly willing to let you have these for free. So we're going to use that as the base and then we're going to put living material on top of that. Of course, we have to have some soil. This soil is a mixture of clay and potting soil that we've made, or topsoil that we've mixed together. Uh, if we use just the, the uh, uh, topsoil, it's too light and will tend to float away. Uh, but if we use clay mixed with it, it'll kind of hold together a little better. So we've got a mixture of that. Uh, we're going to cover the bottom of this because this obviously has some big holes in it. We're going to cover the bottom with some landscaping fabric to hold that soil in. And then we're going to uh, uh, also put some uh, pool noodles, the floating uh, pool noodles in, in there to provide flotation. This flotation, each one of these pool noodles will support about 40 pounds of, of uh, flotation and they're closed cell foam so they'll last a long time and provide the flotation to keep this on the surface. So this will go inside, inside the uh, shipping pallet. We'll attach all that with uh, some staples and some cable ties. And we'll also, of course, need to attach this to the bottom. While we want it to float at the surface, we don't want it to float away. So we'll have an anchor, a concrete block anchor, and some cabling that will cable it to the bottom. Now, one of the critical pieces as we, as we do cable it is this swivel. And we're going to put a swivel in line on that, on that cable that we cable it to the anchor so that it doesn't twist and it doesn't break the cable. So that's an important thing to, to remember. Finally, once we have all the soil and everything attached, we're going to plant our plants into the top of this material with some bird netting just to hold the plants in place on the top of this, uh, uh, of this pallet. We have wetland plants today that we're going to be using. Uh, theoretically, you could even put garden plants and float that out onto a pond. But in our, in our case, we want to just use wetland plants. They're from this area. They're from this pond. So we don't worry about bringing in weeds or causing any problems. So we'll just establish those in the dirt, then we'll take it out, we'll launch it in the pond, and the fish will then aggregate underneath this in the shade underneath this living material. 